Nature is selfless. หลวงตาณลงศักดิ์ขีนาลโย No one can eradicate the functional process of the five aggregates, skandhas, as long as they live. But one must be able to gain insightful understanding that mental fabrications and non-fabrications are parts of life that is natural. Without self-existence in there, since it has always been selfless from the very beginning. Any efforts trying to change satisfactory or dissatisfactory sensations are caused by misperceptions, leading to self-benefits with hidden aims that, if those sensations can be eradicated, there will exist only one self who would be relieved, relaxed. Comfortably in emptiness. Either we will be emptied, or our mind also emptied. We will be freed from sufferings, attaining nirvana. In fact, those arising mental sensations are natural phenomena of the five aggregates, skandhas, responsive. Through the six senses of perception, which are eyes, ears, nose, tongue, body, and mind, this mind phenomena cannot be completely eradicated or completely terminated as long as one is alive. Likewise, any efforts trying to eradicate, to improve, to correct. Those phenomena are means of rapid move into mental formations. The right path must be insightful understanding that those physical and mental perceptions are just only the natural phenomena, just like a flash of lightning, thunderstorms, or thunderbolt, which are occurring naturally. By their own causes and conditions, the effects of those stimulus are just the usual natural conditions of the five aggregates, skandhas. They are habitual behaviors or latent defilements accumulated through many lifetimes. In attempting to correct, change, or fabricate unsatisfactory sensations. Until they are dissolving, and facing satisfactory conditions as desired. For example, relief, relaxed, and comfortably emptied, but still cannot be freed from sufferings. Such reactions either increase more desires, more greeds, and more ambitions. Or clinging on to the sensation of relief, relaxation, and emptiness instead. This is still holding on to mental fabrications, which suffering still remain. This includes false perception that if one can eradicate mental fabrications totally, then this will become unconditioned emptiness. So one will be freed from sufferings. This makes most people struggle in trying to get rid of all mental fabrications. But in reality, mental fabrications and non-fabrications are simultaneously together, only independently functional. No one can terminate the functions of the five aggregates, skandhas, as long as they live. But ones need to understand deeply into their minds that both 
mental fabrications and non-fabrications are just one part of life that is natural and without self-existence whatsoever. Since there has never been any self-existence from the very beginning, so there will be no one to handle the process of mental fabrications and non-fabrications. Simply know, observe, understand the functions of mental fabrications and non-fabrications without holding on to any self-existence. This is sufficient enough to be free from suffering. เพียงแค่ดับความดิ้นรนทยานอยากในใจของท่านเทียบเท่านั้นดับความกระวนกระวายใจที่เหลือมันก็เป็นความสงบเองมันเช่นเงียบมันเช่นสงบมันเช่น